Yeah, Evan, and they're still lining up now for Drake and J. Cole that are going to be here in Oklahoma City for a two night tour. We're going to show you the line. This is just one of the lines. It literally is halfway back on the Paycom Center all the way up to the front door. And Paycom officials told me this morning that it's going to look like this for the next two nights. Tonight's show is years in the making. One of the biggest artists in the music industry taking the stage in OKC. Mainly here to see J. Cole, but Drake's pretty cool too. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> Fans lining up to see Drake and J. Cole Monday morning. Some from OKC. So I actually live in Oklahoma City, but before he announced the Oklahoma City Day, I traveled to Vegas and stood in line for seven hours but others traveling hours. It was about three and a half hours and I haven't, I haven't slept yet actually. Paycom's general manager Chris Simrau says the two night concert is Paycom's 20th event in 24 days and the biggest in the arena's history. More than 60 semi trucks line the parking lot. Simrau says the crew has been setting the stage since Saturday night. We are bringing in staff and vendors and equipment and services from around the region to be able to execute this high level event. There's Literally thousands of people have been working on this show, and it's going to be quite the spectacle. Saying this concert puts Oklahoma City on the map as a premier spot for A-list artists. 2024 is off to our biggest year of concerts ever, and having an artist as influential as Drake play not one, but two nights at your venue is a big deal and will help us in the future recruit even more A-level talent to Oklahoma City. Now doors open here at seven o'clock and the concert starts at eight and I'm told there's just a handful of tickets left for tomorrow night's show reporting live in downtown Oklahoma City. Elise Jones, KOCO 5 News.